Hello everyone, my name is Don the Movie Reviewer and today we are going to be talking about Unfriended Dark Web. Now, I will admit, I am a huge fan, well maybe not huge, I am a moderate fan of the Unfriended movie. Yes, I admit, I love found footage movies, don't be mad at me because I love them. I love found footage movies. I'm a sucker for found footage movies. Blair Witch Project is my favorite found footage movie. Uh, I like found footage movies, what more can I say? And when Unfriended came out, you know, a lot of people were talking about it and it was mostly negative. And yes, sometimes I do listen to criticisms from other people and I let that get stuck in my brain and I just run with it. And that's what happened when the first Unfriended movie came out. I just listened to the negative criticisms and I stayed away from it. Then one night I'm at home and I decide, you know, I'm just going to go ahead, watch it and give it a shot. And I was presently surprised. I was blown away by Unfriended of how creepy it was. It wasn't scary, but it was creepy. There were some creepy images in there. There were some moments that were a bit unsettling. And I overall enjoyed the first Unfriended movie. And I was really mad at myself for the fact that I listened to other people and let them uh, pretty much make my decisions for me. And I should have saw Unfriended in the theater because I guarantee you it would have been a good experience because I liked the first Unfriended movie. Like I said, don't be mad at me. Now we have a sequel called Dark Web, which is uh, another Unfriended movie. And um, yeah, let's just, I'm looking at my laptop, laptop here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Okay, the director of Unfriended Dark Web is a man named Steven Susco. And I have no idea who Steven Susco is, but this is his first movie that he has directed, his directorial debut, which I guess, you know, if you gotta start somewhere, you start with a horror movie, because no one really cares, and especially if it's a found footage movie, a lot of people don't care. Just small amounts of people like myself. I love found footage movies. Um, but he has written a lot of other scripts before, because he also wrote the script for this, Along, uh, along with a guy named Nelson Graves, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, but uh, Steven Susco has wrote scripts for movies uh, such as The Grudge, which is the American version of The Grudge, I guess. Um, he wrote Grudge 2, which I didn't like. He made one of the most horrible movies I've seen, or at least he came up with the story for it, Texas Chainsaw 3D. I did not like that. Uh, Beyond the Reach with Michael Douglas, I didn't see that. Um, so I would say that this guy's writing resume, for me anyway, is is decent. You know, I mean, The Grudge, when it first came out, it was a hit, and I enjoyed it. If I watched it now, I don't know how I'd feel about it. Grudge 2, no. Texas Chainsaw 3D, uh, Beyond the Reach, I don't know. So it's like, I mean, his, his, his writing resume, for, uh, when I look at it, is decent. Uh, his directing, we shall see. Now we have Nelson Graves, which is, is great because he wrote the script for the first Unfriended movie, which, like I said, I did enjoy that. Um, he also made Sleepy Hollow, uh, wrote the script for his Sleepy Hollow TV show. I saw the movie Sleepy Hollow and I did not like it. Never saw the TV show because I really don't get into TV like that, which is interesting because... I used to watch my favorite TV show before The Walking Dead after I gave up on season three. And after that, I just, I don't care about Walking Dead anymore. After that, I just get, I gave up on TV because it just goes on forever and ever and ever. And that's why I like movies because there's a beginning, middle, and end. And TV, it just bleh, it drags it out. Um, but 24 uh, is what started this whole thing with me where it's like I loved it first season, loved the second season, third, then they just keep going on and on with it. And I'm just like, I gave up. I gave up on 24 after like the f fourth or fifth season. And uh, interesting enough, uh, Nelson Graves wrote the script. He wrote the script for 24 Legacy, which I have not seen and I probably never will. 
Um, but he wrote the script for the first Unfriended movie, which is interesting. So that's cool. I like the first one, obviously. Um, other than that, I mean, there are some actors in here who I've never heard of. I don't know who they are. Um, so I guess the actors are not really that important to me. So without further ado, we should just go ahead and get into the trailer for Unfriended Dark Web. Let's get into it. Game night. Oh, ow. Are you ready for this? I got a new laptop. That was a good movie. There's a cyber cafe that I've been working at, and this computer was sitting in the lost and found for the last three or four weeks. Hang on, he stole someone's computer? I didn't, I didn't steal it. That oh, one, yeah. that hey, black chick looks familiar. I found this folder. It was hidden. And I think that's the black chick from the Get Out movie. Who played the uh, maid, this the black dark maid. Web. What's dark web? Part of the internet where no one can track you. Sell out drugs, illegal IDs, even a That is the chick from Get Out. That's the, the, the chick from Get Out. Okay. And this computer's got videos. She looks younger than I thought in the movie and Get Out she looked old. I thought she was older, and here she looks really young. And she's still alive. Oh, God. That's weird. How'd they get in there? That looked way too real. I think that is real. Guys, that's what they're trading. Trade what? All those videos. We have to do something. That guy looks terrified. Who's that? Ooh. Oh, it's, a, it's a spirit, man. It's the spirit. If you've seen the first movie, you know who that is. It's a dead person. Don't talk to dead people online. This is pretty much the same premise as the first movie, except, you know, they're adding in new elements, which is cool. Is that Lex? He killed Lex! Who? The ones who buy the videos, the ones who pick the girls. What the hell? They've all been watching. Oh, there's more spirits now. Oh my god. I'll admit, this, this, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. This looks good. It's just as good as the first. Maybe more intense. Get out of there right now! I can hear you. Are you still there? I can see you. Yes. Yes. I will watch that movie. I will watch this movie because, like, just watching this trailer, you know, I haven't watched the first Unfriended movie in a while. It's been a while. Um, but I remember enjoying it, and I was trying to think of why. Watching this trailer, it definitely reaffirmed why I enjoyed the first Unfriended movie so much. It's like, yeah, you know, I, f I understand the criticisms of found footage movies of a lot of people always saying, you know, it's a low budget, they make them for like 15 cents, and they make thousands of dollars, so it's just a money-grabbing machine. You know, because there's so, it's just like with peop with some people who feel superhero movie fatigue, there are people who feel found footage movie fatigue because, you know, the studios just pump these things out left and right because they can make them for 15 cents on the dollar, make so much money off of it, you know, and not really put any effort into it. And I will admit, I've seen some found footage movies that are like that. But there was just something about Unfriended that I enjoyed that was creepy. And watching this trailer reaffirmed why. The situations that you see the characters involved in is interesting. Like, you feel that, okay, you, you, I felt a connection to them in the movie, and I understood uh, their friendship and, and the situations that they were involved in were intense situations. And, like, in the first movie, I'll spoil it a little bit if you haven't seen it. In the first movie, you know, you have these friends, and at first it seems like, oh, they're happy-go-lucky, but then as the situations start to escalate and the problems rise, um, they start turning on each other, and it's just really intense, you know, with the situations that the characters got in, and I, I, that's what I was invested in, and that's why I thought the first one was so good. It wasn't scary, like I said, it was just a little bit intense. Uh, it was, I was engaged with the movie, and it had some creepy images in there. 
And with this one, it seems like it's the same thing, yes, but it feels like it's times 10, you know? I mean, as they always say with a sequel, it has to be bigger, badder, and better. Um, and with this, it seems like it's uh, anteing up on that. And it, to me, it looks creepy. It looks creepy. It's got some good imagery in there. And yes, you know, the cheap thing with a lot of found footage movies, because obviously they don't want to spend a lot of money on it, and they didn't invest a lot of money into it. You know, you can just, like, write a script on a weekend and pump this out and get thousands of dollars. Yes, but... You know, because you, you see sequences where, you know, something like in the, in the trailer here, someone's about to jump off of a building, but then the camera cuts away, and then you see the aftermath. Obviously, they don't have enough money to just show an image of someone falling and splatting and hitting the ground. You know, that would have been cool. Um, but, you know, uh, it, it looks more of the same, but it looks like it's times 10. It looks really intense. Um... It looks like the same thing, but hey, I, I like the first movie. And for me, you know, like, uh, for example, Mission Impossible. They're coming out with uh, Mission Impossible uh, Fallout. And I'm going to watch that movie. You know why? Because I like the previous two Mission Impossible movies, you know? And if I didn't like the previous two Mission Impossible movies, then I wouldn't watch Mission Impossible Fallout. Like, for another example, I like Fast Five. I like Fast Six. Yes, I admit. And Fast 7 came out. I didn't care. And then Fast and Furious 8 came out. I watched it. Now, I don't, I don't like Fast and Furious 8. So when Fast and Furious 9 comes out, I'm not watching it because they lost me as a fan. You know? Unless a bunch of people come out ranting and raving about, hey, Fast and Furious 9 is so good, then I'll watch it. Still, again, letting people influence me. Should I should do to stop that. But yeah, I liked the un uh, first Unfriended movie, getting back on track here. I liked the first Unfriended movie. That's the only reason I'm interested in this. And watching the trailer, it looks good. It looks like the same stuff, but just bigger, badder, and better. And it looks intense. It looks like it has all the uh, interesting elements that I enjoyed from the first movie, but times 10. And yeah, that's all I have to say, man. I'm definitely going to be watching Unfriended Dark Web because it looks good and I like the first one. And that's it. And they got the chick from Get Out in there, which is cool. So a recognizable face. Uh, everyone else I didn't recognize. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking out Unfriended Dark Web. Looks good. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. Looks scary. Looks creepy. Hopefully, yes, it's the same movie, but has a lot more interesting elements in it. Well, that's all I have to say about Unfriended Dark Web. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.